Greetings, everyone. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the Gospel Uncompromised. I'm Minister D. Bush from the Church of God. The church is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Jesus Christ himself the chief cornerstone. We thank God for another opportunity to come into your homes, into your vehicles, or wherever you might be listening to this broadcast. Now, if you have questions or comments regarding this broadcast, feel free to contact us. You can reach us by email. The email address is ministerdbush at gmail.com. Or you can give us a call. The telephone number is 713-203-3474. And now, listeners, we encourage you to get your Bibles out. Grab a notepad and pen and follow along with us as we see what thus said the Lord. Now, this morning, we will uh, continue on in a series uh, taking an in-depth look at the question as to whether there are apostles and prophets in the church today. Over the past couple of weeks we dissected uh, the apostleship and uh, we made the case that there are no apostles in the church today. And this morning we'll take a look at it from the angle of prophets and we maintain that there are no prophets. The office of a prophet is not in the church today, but the gift of prophecy is still uh, in the church, but not the office. Now, I would like to uh, just uh, call your attention to uh, Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. Hebrews chapter 1, uh, begin reading at verse 1, and the word of the Lord says, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Now, now you have to get the language of the Bible here. The, the word of the Lord says, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Verse 2, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. God is not speaking to the church now for, for doctrine. He's not speaking to the church now for doctrine by prophets. He, now, verse 2, verse 2 bears it out. It says here, Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, his Son, which is the Word of God. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the Word of God. And that is how God is talking to the church now. If you want to know the will of the Lord for your life, don't get on the phone with and call a prophet. Get on your knees and pray to the Lord for understanding and then get your Bible out. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son. This is how God is talking to the church now. In the Old Testament, uh, that God, if you wanted to know the will of the Lord for your, your, your life, you had to do one of two things. Either you had to go to the prophet or you had to send for the prophet to come to you. The, we didn't, at that time, the printing press hadn't, wasn't invented. So there was no mass uh, uh, printing or mass application of scripture to own any type of, of written uh, literature it was very expensive. Only the wealthy of the wealthiest could afford to own a book because all books were handwritten. But now, beloveds, we live in a time now where you, you, if you don't have a Bible, it's, it's, it's because you don't want one. The Bibles are, are mass printed and they're, they're very affordable. And in fact, if, if, you, there, if there are those who are listening to me now, if you don't have a Bible, uh, I'll give my information at the end of the program. Contact me and I'll make sure you get one. There's no excuse for you not having the word of God now. Now let's go uh, over to uh, Luke. Luke chapter 2. <clears throat> Uh, Luke chapter 16, I'm sorry, Luke chapter 16, and we'll begin reading at verse number uh, 15, Luke chapter uh, 16, and we're going to begin reading at verse number 15, 
And the word of God says, And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Verse 16, for verse 16, the word of God says, The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. The law and the prophets were until John. Now, again, get the language of the Bible. It said, until. If something goes, if, if it's until, that means it stops. The store is open until 8 o'clock. So it, you can't go to that store after 8 o'clock. At 8 o'clock, they're going to lock the doors. And they're not going to let anybody else in. And as, as the people who are already in that store, well, they can uh, wrap up their shopping and, and, and check out and so forth. But now he said the law and the prophets were until John. Until. That at, at that signifies it stopped since that time the kingdom of God is preached now the prophets of the Bible prophesied the coming of the Lord Jesus John uh, if you remember in the gospel of John and we'll, we'll go there a little later on in his teaching he, he said behold the Lamb of God See, see, John said, there's one coming after me. He is to be preferred. The law and the prophets were until John. And since that time, the kingdom of God is preached. The prophets prophesied the coming of the Lord. You remember Isaiah, uh, uh, Jeremiah, Moses. They all pointed to the coming of the Lord. The coming of Jesus. Now let's jump over to uh, uh, jump back to Matthew chapter eleven. Matthew chapter eleven, and my, my God, these 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 fellows who are claiming to be prophets now, they're they're all they're doing is they're, they're going around trying to get you to buy books. Buy DVDs and kind of get you to come to a conference and pay a registration fee. They're not, they're not prophesying anything. They're, they're telling you you're going to get houses and cars that you never get. They're trying to get you to buy a miracle spring water and buy anointed uh, oil. The, now the, God, the kingdom of God is being preached now. What, listen to these fellows who claim to be prophets. Are they, are they doing this? Now, Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. And we want to begin reading at verse number 12. Matthew chapter uh, 11. And uh, we'll begin reading. Well, well, we'll just read verse 11. We're at Matthew 11 and 11. And the word of God says, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and violence take it by force. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Uh, the crucifixion of Christ was violent. We're under, we're under the dispensation now. Jesus Christ is our salvation now. And J Jesus suffered a violent death. And the violent take it by force. Jesus went down into hell and the grave and took back the keys to the kingdom. At that, Adam relinquished it, but Jesus took it back. And now, in verse 13, the word of God says, For all the prophets, again, he's repeating himself, For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. This is Matthew's account of the same story here. The laws and the prophets prophesied until we're no longer under the law, the Mosaic law. And the laws and the prophets prophesied until John. 
Verse 14. And if ye will receive it. That is Elias. Which was far to come. He that hath ears to hear. Let him hear. If you want to be saved. If you want to know the will of God. You can get in the word of God. And the spirit of the Lord will communicate to you. It will direct you. To a, a, a church where you need to be. To where you can hear the gospel. The, the, the unadulterated gospel. He that hath ears to hear. Let him hear. Notice he didn't say. He that has ears to hear. Go find a prophet. The word of God is going forth. You just need to listen to it. Verse 16. But whereunto shall I liken this generation. It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling to their fellows. <clears throat> Amen. So now, uh, you know, we, you want a prophet. You, you want uh, an apostle. But why? You have the word of God now. There's no need... For a a prophet, you know, to to instruct you, you have the word of God now. Now, once uh, a person receives the spirit of God, he or she may receive the gift of prophecy. That's one of the nine gifts of the spirit, and we'll we'll take a look at that. But that doesn't make them a prophet. That that doesn't make them. That doesn't ordain them to that office as it were they may have uh, the gift to prophesy which means to foretell of a coming event you know the, the spirit of the Lord can lay into my uh, uh, in my spirit to communicate to the church that in you know 10 days there will be an earthquake in, in some place but that doesn't make me a prophet and just at that particular time, I uttered a prophetic utterance, but I'm, I'm, I'm not a prophet. Yes, the Lord can deal with you to, to prophesy. Brothers and sisters, there are no people operating in that office of a prophet now. If you want to know the will of God for your life, you're going to have to pray and you're going to have to get in his word. Bible says, Bible admonishes us to study to show thyself approved. And that's what we have to do now. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. Amen, beloved. And we see the time has gotten away from us. Thank you for listening to the Gospel Uncompromised. We certainly hope something was said to help somebody. Now, if you have questions or comments concerning this broadcast, feel free to contact us. We love hearing from you. You can reach us by email. The email address is ministerdbush at gmail.com. And we read and answer all of our emails. So, so feel free to email us. Or you can give us a call. We don't mind you calling us. Telephone number is 713-203-3474. Once again, you can reach us by phone. The telephone number is 713-203-3474. This is Minister D. Bush inviting you to tune in again next week for more of the Gospel Uncompromised. Thank you for listening, friends. Until our next broadcast, we say may the Lord have mercy upon you. May you open the eyes of your understanding that you run for your life. Praise the Lord.